What's up vendors? Cosmic Vending here and today we're going to be servicing two of my gumball machines that I have on location. These are usually two of my better machines so hopefully they do well for us. We're going to collect the money and refill them with gumballs so let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright, so the first machine of the day, we have a Nerds Gumball machine and we're selling these at 50 cents. My biggest piece of advice for anyone out there looking to start their own bulk vending business would be to make sure that your machines have 50 cent mechs. Candy and gumballs have really gone up in price over the last few years so it really cuts into your profit if you're still selling at 25 cents. So if you're looking to start your own business, get a machine that has a 50 cent mech in it or you can upgrade to 50 cents. All right, so this is a two month collection and normally in the summertime, this machine can do 40 to $50 a month. Uh, but this time we got $20 and 55 cents. School's out in just a few weeks. So hopefully this machine picks up over the summertime. Both of these machines I'm showing you today are in car washes and it's actually a car wash location where the customers have to get out of their vehicle and they wait in the lobby until their car is all clean. So you get a lot of people waiting around uh, you get a lot of kids in the summertime and these machines always do really well especially in the summertime there's also another vendor here who does gumballs as well and we both have single head gumballs he does regular gumballs at 25 cents and I've upgraded this machine to 50 cents and nerd gumballs I still have some nerd gumballs left so that's really good I'll probably end up switching over to the blow pops eventually and I'm always happy with how this machine performs just because there is another vendor here offering a cheaper gumball and if you've ever considered upgrading your gumballs to a more premium option and charging a little bit more, like 50 cents, I would say go ahead and do it and see how it works out for you. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with how many people are still willing to pay 50 cents for a gumball. All right, and now we're at the second location, and this is the same company. Uh, it's another car wash location, and uh, this machine's about halfway full of gumballs. And that's another thing to consider if you're looking to upgrade to charge 50 cents per gumball. Uh, let's say your sales drop in half, but if you're charging double the amount for the gumball, you're still going to be making the same money and your product's going to last longer. So uh, take that into consideration when you're uh, contemplating whether you should upgrade and charge more for your gumball machines. And we're going to go ahead and fill this machine all the way up with gumballs. We're heading into summertime and last summer this machine was really busy. I was actually having to check on this machine every three to four weeks because they were going through so many gumballs. And actually at one point the manager had to contact me and say, hey, we need some more gumballs. The machine is empty. So that is a really good location. I'm hoping to have the same success this summer. And just really quick before we look at the money here, I just want to remind everybody to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you want to see more bulk vending related videos, hit that like button so that I know you guys enjoy this type of content. I know my channel is mostly mini claw machines, but I do try to post bulk vending content because I know there are some people out there that do enjoy those videos as well. All right, and let's go ahead and see how much money this machine made. I don't think I've ever pulled this out of here and it wasn't at least halfway full. And you can see that is a nice little collection of quarters here. And for the two months, we did $33.95. And hopefully we see those numbers double over the next few months as summertime hits. And we'll go ahead and lock up this machine and just a reminder if for all you bulk vendors out there make sure you're wiping down your machines nobody wants to buy food or candy from a machine that looks nasty parents aren't going to let their kids use the machine so you're hurting your sales if you have a nasty dirty machine so make sure you wipe down your machine even if you just have fingerprints on there you'd be surprised at how much more money you'll make if your machine is nice and clean and I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. Stay tuned next month. We should be collecting from the entire bulk vending route. So stay tuned for that. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all next time. Thank you.